What's up guys and welcome to another video. Unfortunately, I actually have to make this video on a negative note. Now, recently, PvE has been a big topic for Overwatch 2 and the whole community overall for Blizzard. So basically what happened was they first canceled the PvE skill trees. It's the skill trees where you can upgrade your character and everything like that. And it was going to be a more fledged out PvE mode. Now it's just going to be invasion missions. The new thing that just came out today is that you're going to be having to pay for these missions. That is actually insane. That is ridiculous. Why am I paying for these missions? As you can see here in this image, the invasion bundle is going to be $15. You're going to get permanent access to the invasion story missions, 1,000 Overwatch coins, and a soldier and legendary skin. Like, are you serious right now? Like, it's most likely going to be similar to what we had in the past. It's like the free events that we had. You go through the maps, maybe drastically different for the most part, but they're going to be the same exact maps in the same areas. And then you just run through and kill the robots. I could be wrong. It could be better than that. But there's no like replayability. All I can see is people playing the missions for like once or twice and maybe doing the hard modes. Then you're going to get bored of it because there's going to be no replayability to it unless the missions have some dynamic, you know, something dynamic in the mission. I completely doubt that they're going to have something like that. This is just insane to me. And the ultimate invasion bundle is going to be $40. You get legendary skins for Cassidy and Kiriko. Null Sector premium battle pass with 20 tier skips, which I guess this is just the regular battle pass. Also, you'll get additional 1000 Overwatch coins and all previous rewards. So, I mean, I guess you get your money's worth, but then again, you're just paying for the same thing that everybody got before, just a little bit different, newer map areas, and that's it. And you know, I'm most likely going to have to get it because I am a content creator. So I'm going to have to make videos on it. But the thing is, is that I don't want to buy it because it's it's giving them money and it's, and it's going into what they're trying to do, which is a cash grab on this game. They went from doing story missions and everything like that. They did not announce no like that you have to pay for PVE. Everybody thought it was going to come to the game for free. And now you came in play the pve portion of the game that they are coming out with which is the missions you can't play it unless you buy buy the bundle pay for the missions which just blows my mind like why are they doing this it's because it's a cash grab and it's a blizzard and the ceos want a lot more money from overwatch because they haven't been making as much money as they wanted to and hoped for this is just going to be adding on to that i hope this gets reverted maybe they'll revert it to making the missions free but i completely doubt it Hopefully a sale goes on as well so people can get it cheaper than $15 because I feel like $15 is ridiculous for just missions. Like make it like five bucks if you're going to charge for it, not $15. Like that's almost $20 for just missions that probably have no replayability. We know Overwatch, we know Blizzard and how they are. It's most likely going to have no replayability to it. And that's just how Overwatch has been. So what do you guys think about this? Leave a comment down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you guys want to see more content from me, please subscribe. So yeah, have a great day and or night and peace.